there are legitimate problems in the city right now, and the voters want somebody who understands the pain they're going through. There's no doubt it is late in the process, but there's still a window of opportunity. That's what the poll is telling us. It could be anybody. Welcome back, everyone. It is Amelia. I hope you are fine. If you did not like the video, give me some ideas related to my video. Marvel's Echo Show includes one end credit scene after the fifth episode, Maya. We break down what it means for Maya Lopez and Kingpin. Marvel's Echo post credit scene after the fifth episode, Maya, sets up the future for an important street level character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. A spin off from Phase 4's Hawkeye Show, Echo follows deaf chopto hero Maya. Maya Lopez as she returns home after attempting to murder Wilson Fisk aka Kingpin. While in her hometown of Tamaha, Oklahoma, Maya wages war on Kingpin's New York City empire and at the same time reconnects with her family, from which she's been estranged for close to 20 years. Everything changes when Kingpin shows up in Tamaha and faces off against Maya, who has discovered her ancestral powers. The battle between Kingpin and Maya is essentially a draw. After Maya uses her healing abilities on on Fisk to help him work through some of the trauma he endured as a child that led him to murder his own father. Kingpin and his men flee the Chokto Pawa while Maya is free to remain with her family. The Echo ending leaves room for future storylines, and the post credit scene explicitly sets up another upcoming MCU show. The Echo post credit scene opens on Kingpin traveling aboard his private plane scene earlier in the season, in episode 4 when Maya refuses to go home to New York City with him. Presumably Kingpin is on his way back to New York and is dealing with business matters with the help of a woman who appears to be his assistant. Once he gives an order to assemble all the remaining heads so he can stabilize the situation, Fisk turns his attention to the TV, which depicts two political commentators discussing the NYC Merrill race. The reporters are talking about how the race doesn't have a clear frontrunner. The men on TV say the people of New York want a fighter as their mayor to help deal with the problems in the city, even going as far as to say a bare-knuckle brawler is needed. One of them asks, is that candidate even out there? As Fisk watches, he leans forward in interest, clearly mulling over throwing his hat into the race to become the next NYC mayor. The TV program Fisk watches on the plane in the Echo post credit scene is clearly setting up Kingpin's bid for mayor of New York City. Though Wilson Fisk has always has been a public-facing figure. He's typically presented himself as a businessman rather than a political candidate. Given the discussion of the men on the TV, who reference the need for someone not afraid to fight for the people of New York and take on the establishment, it's clear Kingpin thinks of himself as the perfect candidate. Though viewers don't see Kingpin actually join the race, Winston Dionofrio's performance in the final moments of the scene shows that Fisk is planning on running. Give me some ideas related to my video in comments on below if you like this video and subs for more upcoming videos.